Hey guys, in this section of the tutorial, we'll create new droplets in DigitalOcean and connect it with Zoom Admin so we can start use, using Zoom Admin platform for installing uh, applications and managing our server. So let's get to it. So now I've logged in into my DigitalOcean account. I don't have anything created yet. Uh, it's a new account, so you should probably see something similar if this is the first time you're going in here. So what I want to do is click on create a new droplet. Droplets are more like servers, VPS servers in, in DigitalOcean. Um, they're calling them droplets. So here we want to make sure it's Ubuntu selected. The LTS edition is fine. Um, scroll down. We don't want the default $40 one. We want to go back to $5 plan here. Again, it's, it's for testing. This should be more than enough. But you can always also upgrade um, your servers from five to more if, if there's a need for it. Going down here, I wanna, so we're in California, so I wanna select a data center that's close to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and select um, San Francisco, maybe this third one here. Um, I'm gonna leave the defaults here. I'm gonna actually choose password, although SSH keys is a good option for you if you know how to use them. Uh, it makes things easier, you don't have to type password every time. But for this tutorial, we'll uh, make it easier and then just um, create a password here. So it says to create your root password, so I'll, I'll just type in something. Um, Okay, and try to make it a strong password because it's going to be your root password here. And the last thing is uh, the name of our server. I'm just going to make it something more meaningful. I don't know, let's say call it server1. And you do want to enable backups. I'm not going to for this tutorial because I'm, I'll be deleting this server after this, but you should enable it, so it's cheap and it, it will automatically take backups of your entire server. I, don't know, I believe it's a weekly basis, yeah, once a week. Okay. Um, okay, so my password needs to contain also one number, so I'll, I'll modify that. So hopefully, yeah. Uh, can it say in? Okay, so you cannot have special characters in your password. Nice. I don't know why that's the case. Anyway, okay, now relax it. So, so now now we have our good password here. Let's let's continue. Um, and you might want to also select monitoring here. I think it's free from them. If you wanna use that, but for for me, I'm just gonna leave everything else the default and click on create. Now this will take uh, a few seconds to create. I think it shouldn't take too long. Um, in the meantime, uh, we're gonna go back to our Zoom admin and create a server there, and then we'll actually connect this new server with Zoom admin. Now, when you first log in into Zoom Admin first time you have, and you have not created any apps, this you will be presented with create an app screen here. Um, I'm actually gonna go ahead and create an app, right? So we know we want to create WordPress. I'm gonna select WordPress, but you can always browse more. We have all, you know, we keep adding more apps here, but for this case, I'm gonna select WordPress um, and then just name my app, I'm gonna call it WP1 and just hit continue. So now it, it does have advanced settings. We'll go over it real quickly in the next time, but it's gonna ask for a machine to select. And we have not connected our machine yet, which is the server that we just created in, in, in DigitalOcean. So if you go back to machines here from the left, you know, I have a few here, but I'm gonna do a new connection, connect a new machine. And this will give you kind of quick help here, but I'm gonna name it the same thing I named in my DigitalOcean and click on continue. 
Now this is, this will give you the exact steps to follow, uh, um, and we will try to make this easier in the future. Maybe I'll automate this process for you by by you providing just the login info for the server. Basically, what you need to do is SSH into your server and run this one-line command so it, it connects with some admin. Now to uh, SSH, we we actually give you the steps here we need to SSH into the server. So what you want to do is, um, so open a new command prompt. And again, if you have your favorite SSH client, you can feel free to use that. But this comes, there's a built-in client in Windows. I'm gonna show you um, how to do that using using that built-in client. But feel free to use any, any type of SSH client. Um, so to continue here, so we have to go back to our um, our uh, DigitalOcean and make sure that the server is created. So you can go here, you see that it's created and it's live, it's up. So everything's working, it's good. Now we need this IP address of the server. This is the public IP address. Okay. Uh, so we'll copy this and come back to our our uh, command line here but what I'm gonna, I'm gonna also do is just open a notepad just make things easier to copy paste uh, if you go back to your zoom admin page here it'll, it'll tell you that uh, you need to SSH here is an example SSH root is the login and then the IP address okay so we have the IP address, if you copy paste this command, we just have to replace this IP address here. And then we just need to run this command. Right? Copy paste and, and then hit run. It's gonna ask you to, you know, just say yes. First time. And then it's gonna ask you the password. Again, this, this is the password you created earlier in DigitalOcean. Um, Sometimes copy paste doesn't work well, so you might want to right click here and do edit and paste. Just make sure that uh, you have the correct password. There you go, we're logged into our server here. Um, and we just have to copy our single line command firmware just from here. Just click on copy and come back here. We're gonna do the same thing, paste, and then hit enter, okay? So this is gonna uh, do a few things. It's gonna, you know, install all the install an agent with, in the server, which basically connects with our platform, and allows you to start managing your applications in Zoom Admin. Um, as you might know, Zoom Admin 2.0 is completely focused on container-based applications. Even though for you, even if you don't know anything about containers, it's okay. Our user interface, you know, is really simple to use. But in the background, it's actually creating containers for you and running containers in your server. And the nice thing is that, you know, each, each, each app is basically running in a isolation. But also with containers, you will be able to create all different types of apps, you know, including WordPress, Redis, you saw a complete list there, you know, you know, Node.js based apps, Java apps, the .NET Core based apps, all kinds of apps because container technologies make it possible. Now this, I think, we are one of the first platforms to allow you to do this really easily without knowing anything about containers. Um, you can start using them and get the benefits from them by being able to you know, deploy all kinds of apps on your servers with, with almost zero configuration on your part. Uh, our templates are pre-configured. When you select uh, an app in, in Zoom Admin, it'll kind of show you um, that you'll have the default options to um, run the application. So this is done now, so it says done. So we you know click on finish here and you should see connected here and initially it'll bring some basic basic information about your server the cpu memory and by the way you can go into the server and for those of you who have uh, used zoom admin before you might have seen 
uh, a bit of different menu, but uh, for the most part, things are similar. So you are able to see the connections, processes, system logs, um, system updates. Again, we automatically update the security updates, but these are non-security updates that, um, that it shows you. And then be able to manage cron jobs, um, users, and so on and so forth. You know, software is basically server software. We used to have more of these, but because we moved to containers, you know, you don't really need to install a bunch of software. Um, by default, the Docker container technology is being installed uh, on your server, and that's, uh, that's all we need initially. So now, now let's go back to our homepage here, to applications. You know, we have created WordPress, and now we just have to deploy WordPress, right? So we'll cover that in the next section. So for this section, so we walk through creating a droplet server in, in DigitalOcean and connecting it with Zoom Admin so that your machine is connected. And now you can go edit your app and select your machine. Here should be in the list. Server one is the one we created and then publish. But we'll show you that in the next section. Thanks for watching, let's continue with the next section.